Loring versus Loring, part heard. My lord, I shall continue the evidence of Mr. Carl Dieter. Mr. Carl Dieter. I would remind you, Mr. Dieter, that you are still under oath. Yesterday, you told the court of the circumstances of your first meeting with the respondent. Today, there remains only one question that I need ask you. On that occasion, did you or did you not spend the night in your cabin with the respondent, Mrs. Mark Loring? It is a little difficult to explain. Surely, Mr. Dieter. No more difficult than a simple yes. Oh, no. Yes. Thank you. Mrs. Loring, is it a fact that you are now in a state of approaching motherhood? Yes or no, please? Yes or no? Yes. You have sworn on oath that Mark Loring has legally been your husband since April the 4th, 1955. Yes. Is Mark Loring responsible for this child you carry? He is my husband and would be the child's father. A yes or no answer is what the court requested. Did your husband beget this child? Is your husband the father of the child you now bear? No. Can you tell the court who the father is? No. Because you wish to withhold evidence from the court? Because I don't know. Do you recall the occasion of the Iberian Grand Prix on September the 27th?